Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today we're going to discuss jailbreaking, specifically whether there's going to be a jailbreak for either the public version of iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1. Now I wasn't actually going to cover the two topics detailed in today's video until I saw so much misinformation circulating concerning the potential of an 11.4 jailbreak. So I wanted to set the record straight as well as clarify things for you guys here today because I've received so many questions about it. So many of you are confused as to whether there's actually going to be another jailbreak after Electra before iOS 12 drops. So we're going to answer that question in today's video. Now down below in the description, the very first link contains everything discussed in today's video in written format, as well as the tweets we're going to highlight and even the wallpaper I'm rocking here on my iPhone 10. So if you want to download that again, it's the first link below. And finally, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give this video a huge thumbs up to show your appreciation for setting the record straight here today and click that subscribe button if you have yet to. Now, first we need to understand the news in question. There are essentially two different stories that have been combined into one. Back on July 30th, hacker Brandon Azad posted a video and quick write up on Twitter. Said video was a brief sandbox escape demo utilizing the exploit CVE-2018-4280 on an iPhone 7. And according to Apple's iOS security update page for 11.4.1, which is linked below, that 4280 exploit has the following impact. Quote, an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. So some pretty solid stuff, right? Well, unfortunately, this single exploit is nowhere near enough needed to create a full-fledged jailbreak, and neither is the other exploit that Azad discovered and disclosed to Apple that was patched in 11.4.1. Furthermore, Azad himself said that he won't even be detailing it until BVXCon 2018, which is a security conference that takes place toward the end of September. Now, the next story that people are merging with the first one comes from former Electra team member Pwn to own. I'm not going to get into any of the drama in today's video between Pwn and Coolstar, the leader of the Electra team, but Pwn may be releasing his own jailbreak. Now, making waves recently with very cryptic tweets, Pwn originally said, quote, would you like a brand new completely open source jailbreak for the modern iOS that would be written from the ground up? It would also be drama free and welcome to any contributor. Now, this was a while back toward the middle of July. However, he has since recently actually tried to hype people up on Twitter and retweeted that tweet. So indicating that he is still working on it and it's something that might come in the near future. And ensuing that, Pwn was allegedly quoted in a Discord chat room saying that he'll release a jailbreak by the name of Uncover. Now this is where things get interesting. Select reports have recently come out stating that due to the fact that the previously mentioned exploit is odd discovered was patched in 11.4.1, it should work on the public version of 11.4. What's more, the quantum leap has even been made that in light of that fact, Pwn's jailbreak will work on the public version of 11.4. Now, the first part of that assumption isn't really a leap at all, although it is a little bit strange that Azad himself won't even demo it on 11.4 at BVXCon, stating that he'll actually demo it on 11.2.6. But the second part of that assumption is an entire entirely different story. Remember when I said that Azad's exploit alone and even the second CVE disclosed by Azad wasn't enough to either update or create a brand new jailbreak? That still very much holds true. It's only a small piece to the puzzle. Furthermore, if Pwn's uncovered jailbreak even is released at all, it will likely include support for the same firmwares as Electra, being up to 11.3.1 and of course iOS 11.4 betas 1 through 3. Now he also stated that Uncover will have a heavy focus on Cydia as the primary third-party package installer, but don't get your hopes up just yet. If it's ever released, Uncover is still a ways off. And as I've said in past jailbreak updates, we likely won't get a new jailbreak for the latest firmwares until after iOS 12 is released this fall. And while it is true that the only reason Electra exists today is because a previously disclosed exploit was patched in 11.4, that exploit was fundamentally different than the one submitted by Azad, so it's an entirely different situation than what we have today. Electra relies on a low-level kernel exploit as 
as do all jailbreaks, and the ones submitted by Azad simply are not that. Additionally, Coolstart and the Electra team had to do an extraordinary amount of work to actually get a functional jailbreak ready for public release even after that exploit was disclosed. So there you have it. There almost certainly won't be a new jailbreak that functions on firmwares past 11.3.1 and 11.4 beta until after iOS 12's release. And while it's certainly a bummer that these rumors aren't true, at least there's a flurry of activity on the jailbreak scene. Jailbreaking is far from dead, and I really do hope this video helped you guys out. Remember, my main focus here is just to ensure that you guys have the best and most accurate information to make the informed decision as to whether to actually update or not. Definitely stay on as low of a firmware as you possibly can, no matter what. Even if you're on 11.4 public, don't update to 11.4.1, even though these rumors are not true. It's always a great idea to stay as low as you possibly can until we actually have confirmation that a new jailbreak is going to be released. And then at that point, it would be safe to update to the firmware supported by said jailbreak utility, provided they are still being signed by Apple. So again, my main goal is to help you guys out. I really hope this video accomplished that and you learned something and we can dispel some of that fake news that's been circulating in the jailbreak community. Again, just be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. If it did help you out, click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell to be notified anytime we release new videos concerning jailbreaking. And of course, if things change on the jailbreak scene, I will be the first to let you guys know. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.